Hey there, Weblings! Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, hi! I'm Marissa Goth, and welcome to my web. Um, this is not how I normally look, yes, I know, but we're starting out the vlog strong with doing our makeup. <laughs> I figured while we were baking, we opened a little packet that one of my sweet Weblings sent me. And by the way, you guys, y'all don't have to send me packages, but I truly appreciate whatever you send. So, our handy dandy Koromi um, box cutter and pop this package open. Ooh, we gotta be careful. Oh, sharp. Oh. Okay. Ooh, okay. So it's all cute and wrapped inside. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she, she said it was packed in there, okay? And it was packed, but look how cute this wrapping is! Oh, a fan already. Oh, wait, I'm sure it was supposed to be wrapped around, but that's okay. Yeah, we, it gets lost in shipping. <gasps> okay, she wrote a little note on the back. I'm so glad to give this little bag a new home. I hope you have fun styling it with your awesome wardrobe. Thanks for posting on YouTube. Um, I really enjoy your content. I will late it happy birthday to you as well. Best. <gasps> oh. Okay, I'm not gonna cry, <laughs> but I feel it coming. This is the sweetest. Oh, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna save this forever. Thank you so much. And let's get to the bag. How cute. Okay, I don't like messing up the paper, but I mean, in this situation. We're gonna go ahead and go for it. <gasps> oh! Look at it! <sighs> I could cry, you guys. Like, tears. <laughs> it's so cute! Oh my goodness, thank you so much. So, so much. And it's like fluffy inside. Oh. This is gonna go really well with some outfits that I've been thinking about. Flaming Angels costume and clothing design. This is the most, this is the cutest bag ever. Simply adorable. And she actually owns a shop. I'm. She doesn't sell this, but she does have a shop. And I will link her on the screen for you guys to go check her out because she was so sweet to just send me this and write a little note. And we had problems with the post office and she was willing to resend it for me like a sweet, a gem. She is a gem. <laughs> so yeah, I will leave her shop here and then go check her out. And I'll leave it down below as well. This is so special. I'm going to treasure this forever. You have no idea. So while I bake, I am going to just chat and tell you what we're doing today. We are going to get our nails done by a wonderful local artist and she's actually on Instagram and here's her Instagram. Look at it. <laughs> you can tell why I was drawn here hopefully. Um, she's going to be doing a freestyle for me but I am excited. I got my other ones taken off like a day ago. And it made me realize, like, I'm desperate for a local artist, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Sure, it's going to take a couple hours, but, like, it's going to be the best nail set you ever had. I'm tired of going to, like, nail salons because they don't really feel personal. I mean, sure, they can learn your name and, like, you see them all the time, but it's just, like, a generic set, you know? Or, like, here's a flower, 50 extra dollars. Huh. <laughs> I'd rather give that 50 extra dollars to a, a like an artist who's around so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go antiquing <laughs> we're gonna go antiquing we're gonna go look for some gold jewelry because I feel like I'm lacking I have two pieces that are gold two and I need more so we're gonna go gold hunting we're also gonna go look at antique Halloween because while everybody's releasing their Halloween I feel like antique stories are just being you know left behind so that's where we come in we're gonna go look at the antique stores and I found a few that I've never been to and you may have never heard of you know that I'm excited come on I'm always excited join me on this wonderful day we're gonna go have a great one and I hope you get cozy get your cup of tea get your water because hydrate because it's hot out there 
well here at least <laughs> and yeah i will see you out in the wild okay so here's the final look I'm wearing my glasses today i got this belt from killstar and i'm wearing my fox blood skirt and this top is from walmart so yeah so yeah here's the fitty um we're using sprays today from this is my like signature scent so I have Nest, which is Black Tulip from Nest, and then I have Dark Veil from The Parlor Company and Black Tulip Nest. These together, it's like a flowery graveyard. Love it. Absolutely. So you start off with the get a spray of this, and then you cover it with some Black Tulip. There you go, signature scent. As far as bags go, I am using these for shopping. So I'm gonna have my Fox Blood one. And this one I got from the Glass Coffin. So I'll be using these for shopping instead of using bags because eco-friendly. <laughs> and, oh, and one last thing. If you have a chest piece or like really any tattoos or you just wanna glow, um, I got this last year from Bath & Body Works. It's the vampire blood diamond shiver mist and i just kind of shake it up and spray it on my tattoos because it makes them like it makes them like glisten yeah but it does kind of smell like alcohol so uh. <laughs> but anyways i'm running late gotta go get these nails done and my shoes are just my bat shoes just these <laughs> okay let's go Okay, y'all, so I didn't want to film in there because I just met her. This is my first time meeting the nail lady, and it was everything. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear me, hopefully. It was everything and more. I'm so excited that I found her, and I am just... Ah, are you ready to see the nails? <laughs> Look at them. She did absolutely fun -um. I got them a little shorter than I usually do, but. And she convinced me to get a jewel. I'm not flipping you guys off. She convinced me to get a jewel because usually I'm like, oh, they get stuck in my hair, you know. But beauty is pain. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try. Anywho, she also gave me an amazing recommendation for not only a coffee shop, which, will we, which we will be checking out. She also gave me a recommendation for this antique mall. So we're gonna go antique just a little because this place closes at six. So I'm gonna be here before they close. I don't wanna be those people, but. It's the first time here. Okay, what is that? This is a GoPro. Is it okay if I film my shopping trip? Yes, it is. Okay. I just don't know. Oh, I knew oh. nothing about it. That's why you young people have to teach me <laughs> about GoPro. these things. <laughs> yes, very cool. No, film. Go okay. no, right ahead. All right, I know you guys close at six. So we do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're fine. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, so after the very nice lady welcomed us in, we are in this huge, massive shopping mall full of antique stuff from head to toe. Honestly, it was a little disorienting because trying to figure out which way to go was, oh my goodness, without being lost, oh my goodness. But there were so many cool little things and like every little nook was something different. These were super pretty. I loved them, but you know, there's so much, I'm sure there'll be 10 more of those or if something not better. See, look, exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> the thing I enjoyed is they have a lot of like rooms that are kind of themed. So this one was like clothes and we have this pink little corset. Um, I'm not sure if it's fast fashion or actually vintage, so. That's one thing about antique stores, they like to mix stuff in. Which is okay, you know. Oops. 
Lydia Dietz, anyone? It kind of reminds me of that. Moving right along to this hallway of endless posters, <laughs> um, I'm stumbling across Pearl Beer here. Don't quite understand, but you know, art is subjective. There was a lady standing in this room, and I thought she was a mannequin, and she scared the absolute I don't know what out of me. <laughs> So much glass. Honestly, I'd be so terrified to be in here during any kind of natural disaster because there's just glass everywhere. So we made a loop and we're back in this beginning area and this is where all the comics are. At least the first set of comics that I find. And we have a Rocky Horror something. It's a, oh, it's a magazine. Yes, poster magazine. <laughs> and we have all these different comics and these stickers. Sailor Moon stickers. If you don't know, I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan. And this cute chihuahua. Oh my goodness, loved it. Here are some more modern things. Some pops. Some Beetlejuice in the background. These rugs were, I think, handmade? Not quite sure, didn't ask, but they were so cute. Um, I wish I could make rugs, that'd be so much fun. But that's one of those like ADHD hobbies that I don't need to get into because it's quite expensive. There's this random alien, he wasn't, he was metal, it was all metal. Um, and this guy was also metal. Not quite sure why, but you know, antiquing. Back to some clothes, um, oops, almost dropped this one, but it reminded me of Beetlejuice, so I had to show you guys. It was super cute. And it's vintage, so that's fun. Then we found this jean jumpsuit that was super adorbs. I could totally see an outfit in my head. Off to the little earring section that they had, some little craft earrings and knives with blood on them, and just some other knickknacks in this room. Um, this really cute door handle was super cool. It was heavy too, so yeah. Here's some cups. Um, more cups. <laughs> There's a lot of cups. A lot of glassware, like I said. So off to the next room we go. There's just so much to look at. Every corner of this place is Filled. My like favorite thing to look at when antiquing is like the old flower paintings or just like stuff that looks like this. It's just, you know, so pretty, so antique, so vintage. <laughs> But I really love it. It's really just mm, beautiful. They don't like stuff like this isn't made anymore and it just makes me sad. But at least we can see it at the antique stores. This horse, <laughs> these horses, um, super cool. I totally, if I had the space, like a huge mansion, I would put them in there and just have like an antique carnival theme going on. That'd be so much fun. I really like this little vase. It was cute. Um, I don't know about $17.99 for it. I feel like I could thrift something for cheaper. It's my body. I'll have pie if I want to. <laughs> love that. Little crystals. And we have these dolls. I love, you know, I'm really starting to really love dolls. Um, and I don't need it to become a thing, but it might be. <laughs> so yeah. And 
these don't know exactly what they are but this this right here this clock stunning um but it's gonna be stunning on that shelf for that price Here's some goodies that are, I think, handmade by one of the staff members. And this room full of knickknacks. <laughs> Not too sure what's in here, but that's okay. That's antiquing. <laughs> Here's like a cabinet full of like name brand things, knockoffs, not too sure. And that's this room. On the shelf in an aisle, I found my favorite thing ever, Vampire Glass, the Avon Collection. Here's a little doll, super cute, and here's some old Avon bottles and things. I'm not really sure why they sell like these with like a little bit in them still, like a little bit left, I'm not really sure. Here's another room full of clothes and jewelry, our first jewelry area. Um, honestly, looking back, I should have got those red ones there in the middle, but I didn't. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Here's my little outfit. Rocking my Killstar belt and my fan because they don't have the air on in here. And my allergies were kicking my buttons. Here's another section of jewelry. A lot of stuff kind of felt cheap, like these. So... Yeah, I hate that a lot of antique stores are starting to do that. Um, there's like less and less authentic jewelry. A lot of like costume jewelry instead, which is sad. Look how packed to the brim these hallways are. Oh my goodness. It, it was honestly a little overwhelming. I didn't know where to go. <laughs> but I did see a, um, an amazing case here filled with cameras. And if you didn't know, I am a camera connoisseur. <laughs> I try to be at least they're expensive but like these right here are so cool I just I love them so much and like antique pictures Ugh, it just makes me a happy ghoul I wonder when we're gonna start seeing our pictures in antique stores that's gonna be interesting In this room, it was complete and utter chaos. There were some beautiful gems, though. Um, I actually used to play viola. So if you are an orca dork, <laughs> let me know down in the comments below. Here is another section of jewelry. Again, it's a lot of like cheap looking jewelry, not gold, which we we're looking for. But they do have a secret tea garden, so we might have to go back for that. That was nice. Here are some more earrings. They're beaded. I don't know what this style of earring is called. Um, I know that there is a Native American beading, beadwork, jewelry maker. Actually, I'll link one down below because I love her art. I just always miss her drops. <laughs> Here's this room full of the big stuff, I guess. Um, yeah. I love that thing in the corner. Don't know exactly what it is, but I love it. This mirror cabinet curio situation. Amazing. Here's another section that's completely packed with things. <laughs> but here's this table and these candelabras with these plates. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Here's more gold, quotation mark. Um, yeah, a lot of the stuff was like very cheap quality, so it stayed where it was. 
but I did really like this little locket. I've been wanting a locket. Um, I didn't get this one though because it I wasn't in love with the the color of it and the yellow jewel in the middle. But it you know it was a locket, so there's that. Here's all the china, I assume. The blue china, I think is what it's called. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but I think it's pretty. Um, I don't think it has space in my decor, per se. Doesn't that kind of look like something from Chili's? Here's his dial phone. I remember when they were just fading out of existence. Here's some more cute stuff that I've seen around. We're getting into the Halloween. They had, they kind of hit it in the back of the store. But I love these little figurines. They're so cute. This absolutely stunning mirror. If only. If only. These guys. Not sure. I mean, it's art. And it's subjective. So. <laughs> They're cute. This one's cute too. Got a little vintage Halloween going on. This, this witch was really detailed. It was super cool. This house, also super cool. This little cup, I loved it. This was definitely from Home Goods. Betty Boop, our iconic queen. I love this. I love this so much of her. I need to get a Betty Boop tattoo. These frames were everything. I love them. And Linda from Boss Burgers would be happy because if you know, well. Little babies. Come here. 